guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Exomoner. Welcome. Um, so they went from Halloween. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. So they went from Halloween to also limited time only Chrono Cross. You can get search links and kids. Um, I ever played these games like a few chapters or something on Game Boy Advance emulator, but. It's, it's kind of a fun game, but this is, this is I think, completely new. Maybe a new game or something. So, let's hop in, see what um, the prices are. Alright, so limited to one per player. You get a new uh, vision card also. So, that's, that's good. That's good stuff. I'm still going for uh, Lilith, of course. Still don't have her. Tried everything already. Look at my lapis. <laughs> so, um... You can get either one of these three, uh, so I'm guessing it's something like die and, and stuff like that, like dragon. So, um, search new ally, global upgrade, reduces resistance to spares, light resistance and deal light magic damage to all enemies, and restore HP for all allies. He also has a super limit burst, calling from beyond time at X1. Uh, calling from beyond time, attack and magic plus 110, that's also so his vision card. His Super Trust Master is the Master Mune. Attack plus 210, Magic plus 220. Two-handed weapon, activate Doreen's power, search only. Master's power, Moon's power, boost physical magic damage against beasts. Demons, humans, dragons, fairies, insects, plants, reapers, avian, aquatic, machina, and stone monster by 50%. And boost all B damage by 50, and boost equipment magic by 50 when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Uh, he's Trust Master, Search Bandana, Attack plus 48, Magic plus 52, so he's, he's, a, he's a hybrid damager. He does magical and physical damage. Very good. Um, his featured abilities, uh, Fill LB, one use per battle boost light damage of LB, ability magic and fill the LB for caster. Chrono Cross, one use every six turn, reduce turns required to use cooldown abilities for one ally, boost attack magic and LB damage, and reduce own spirit and boost magic for the next attack for casting. So, he is definitely something else. For people who are like Chrono Cross fan, definitely go for this banner. If you like Will, definitely go for this banner. Um, as for myself, I have to skip this one, actually. I have nothing with Chrono Cross, but I'm giving a news update for people who actually are going for this. So, Lynx, what does he have? Also, Global Upgrade, Super Limit Burst Unlocked. He has uh, Magic, Boost Magic and LB Damage for LB Cast to Max for Caster. And his Fishing Card is something else. Level 10, Magic plus 120. His Super Trust Master, Attack plus 48, Defense plus 38, Magic plus 80, and Spirit plus 45. Oh damn, that's a good hat, actually. <laughs> and boost LB damage by 50% and activate LB damage plus 50%. That's a big Super Trust Master, guys. Also, he's limited, so if you guys want this, summon for him, get his Super Trust Master, and then save and continue because... Because Chrono Cross is coming, I am afraid Kingdom Hearts is not coming. So, I think they're doing like... Once a year, something else. So I think next year, maybe uh, the Elric Brothers with a complete new vision or something like that. We don't know. Chrono Cross is up for grants this time. So uh, for me, this is a huge uh, step for me because um, I don't have to waste enough Lapis for this banner. So I can continue to summon on Lilith and hopefully I get her <laughs> before she, her banner drops. So. Happy Halloween to all of you guys. Um, magic plus 500, also on X ability. Now let's this be your final resting place. One use every three turns, boost dark damage of LB. Abilities magic, boost attack, magic, LB damage, reduce own spirit, boost magic for the next attack for caster. His new abilities is Grandus, fill LB links. One use per battle, boost dark damage of LB, abilities magic and fill LB for caster. So we got light, we got dark. Next one. C is a spirit. Uh, C is a breaker, I mean. C breaks. Um, he, C also has a super limit burst. They all have super limit burst, okay. Global upgrade, kit. Reduce defense spirit resistance to short swords. Fire resistance, deal fire magic damage to all enemies. Okay, so C's fire. Feel own LB cost to max. 
available from turn 5. Um, she also has her own vision card, level 10, magic plus 100. Super Trustmaster, global upgrade, magic plus 210, two-handed weapon, physical evasion plus 20, and draw attacks plus 20%. That's insane. Okay. Uh, chance of evading some physical attacks, increased chance of being targeted by 20%. Attack plus 41, defense plus 15, magic plus 55, spirit plus 21 is her trust master. Activate physical evasion plus 20 also, draw attacks plus 10. Uh, okay, so, so she's basically like a physical evasion... Uh, physical evasion breaker, I think? Yeah. But she also has magic in it, so... Don't know what she is exactly, but um, she looks good. Amazing, actually. So, her featured abilities. Red pin. One use every three turns. Consume LNLB cost to reduce fire resistance and deal partial unmitigated fire magic damage to all enemies and activate the area effect. Okay, that's huge. Global upgrade. Boost magic by 1500. 30% chance of evading some physical attacks and increased chance of being targeted by 50%. So, he sees... Very easy built-in physical evasion. 100%. Meaning, the next event is gonna be like, you need to dodge a lot. Guys, it's free NV sometimes. Sometimes free 5 star. Depends. We also get a brand new event for final Fancy Brave Exodus Chrono Cross. Viper Manor, where lies the key to the past. Complete quest to earn certificates for Viper Manor. Where lies the key to the past and trade them in for awesome rewards. So, let's see what the rewards are. Exodus tickets, as usual. We also get some fragments for search, probably. And maybe if, uh, they also got some event uh, where you can grind the fragments each day. So, just like they did with the die and stuff. So, um, Silver earring, HP plus 1000, attack and magic plus 30. Nullify stop. Alright, looks... Mediocre, I think. Nullify stop is good, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Attack and defense, plus magic, plus spirit, plus 20%. Nullify some instant knockouts. Okay, that's useful. But the abilities could go to 50, I think. Because we are like in an age where you actually need those 50% or even higher. So, um, oh, Okay, but it's free. So you better... Yeah, you better get these items. It's pretty useful. Elements, Magnify, Magnegate, Genius, Eagle, Bat, all right, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, the bonus is, of course, Search, Kit, and Links. And the others are Red Wing, Cecile, White Mage, Ihana, Van Harma, Black Mage, Galbus, and White Mage of Benediction, Rosa. Uh, bonus 150, Elegant Temptress, Lilith, Lord of Light, Pearl, Elazul, and Ultimate Regina. I still don't pull her either, so... Hopefully my luck is returning, at least for me on Fire Emblem Heroes. I did get the new air, so that's cool. Um, let's see, what else do we have? So we got the black clad demi-human also. Character battle, chrono cross event and King Mark's lost maps are also here. We also have a new event, the young Acacia Dragoon get awesome rewards. Two exploration quests of difficulty will become available. So you have to do uh, some kind of puzzle again, where you have to reach the certain boss and don't get killed while going through that. So yeah, you can get attack and magic plus 25. No, attack plus 25, magic plus 40, nullify blind, nullify silence and disease, magic plus 45, the demon charm. And the Dragoon Gauntlet, attack plus 55 and magic plus 40. Okay, that's one of the best, I think. Yeah, definitely. And of course, you can use these units to clear the dungeon for extra bonus rewards. We also get some changes in the Perma Vision Card Select update. We also get uh, new cards also, the Emperor Reborn versus the Round One, the grief-stricken rival in the name of Isis Elites, always watching over me, a dynamic demonstration, let demons be slain and a happy family, Y-Guards are approved. Okay, I definitely need the Y-Guards approved. I recently got Nelika, but if I get Rush, I will immediately get his card as well, so that's cool. 
And they also had an issue report. There was an unintended issue with the boss in the class Will's Champion of Unknown Origin, where it can be knocked out instantly with abilities that revive the target. There's also a related issue where the boss is not knocked out, but the AI does not function properly when abilities that revive are used on the boss under certain circumstances. So, no action will be taken against players for utilizing this behavior, and we will also not be changing the behavior for the sake of keeping balance consistent during the duration of the event. Okay, so that has been solved, guys. We might get some uh, stuff for that, for the report. More issues updated. Um, Starting Wednesday, we'll be unable to receive individual rewards in the Steel Castle Malfakaya Equipment Enhancement event. This issue will be fixed during this week's maintenance. Glorious Headbase does not fill the LB cars by the intended amount. Okay, so lots of issues, guys. Might have big compensation for this. Anyway, that's the update for Chrono Cross. Are you guys excited? Are you going for this banner? Are you still going for Lilith? Are you saving for Nero Automata? Are you saving for Christmas or Cloud? I think Cloud will be dropping at the end of the year, but who knows? If I could just get one copy of Lilith, I will immediately go into saving mode, but yeah. Anyway, um... Best of luck to you guys on the summons. And definitely get the Super Trust Master of Links. He's very good. And um, I'll catch you guys later. On to the next update. Bye guys.